Long time no see. I know it's been a few weeks since I last posted a tutorial. I basically just took three or so weeks off to work on a few different projects that weren't tutorials. For one, I was making some changes to this space, this room, as you can see, there's a lot of stuff that's different back here and there's some other stuff that I'm gonna keep on changing and moving in in this room. You'll see more of that soon, but I was also on spring break for one of those three weeks in Florida filming a really fun vlog that I can't wait to show you a few weeks from now. There may or may not be some alligators in it. Just throwing that out there. And what I spent most of my time doing over the past three weeks was working on the video that I posted last Saturday. And if you wanna check that out, I'll put a card for it right here. It's one of the biggest videos I've ever made, one of my favorite projects that I've ever worked on, and I hope you enjoyed as well. That being said, I'm extremely excited to get back into the schedule of regular uploads, starting out with this tutorial today, showing you how to create this directional blur transition. This is a somewhat common effect, but I associate it mostly with JR Alley. He uses this all the time in his videos to spice up transitions or accent little motions and sounds within the shot. This is a really handy and very basic effect, so today I just wanna show you a very easy way to recreate this that works in both Premiere and After Effects exactly the same way. Start out by creating a new adjustment layer and dragging it so that it's on top of both of your clips. Then just drag an effect called Gaussian Blur onto the adjustment layer. If you increase the blur amount, you'll see that it's softening the entire clip, which really isn't the effect that we're going for here. But if we change the blur dimensions from both to either horizontal or vertical, you can see that the blur is now going in only one direction. But there is still one problem, which is that if the blur is high enough, you'll start to see the edges getting dark or disappearing. But that's super easy to fix by just checking off this little box that says repeat edge pixels. That's basically just gonna mirror the clip, giving it more information to blur it out. As far as animating the effect goes, it really depends on the shot and the effect that you're going for, but I'll show you the effect that I usually try and create. I'll start out one or two frames away from the end of my first clip and keyframe the blur amount at zero. Then I'll move forward to the first frame of the second clip and increase the blur amount. After that, I'll just move a couple more frames into that second clip and change the blur amount back down to zero and you can see this creates a really quick swipey kind of effect. And the final thing that I like to do is trim the adjustment layer to the duration of the keyframes just for organization's sake. And at that point you should be done. I think the most important thing to keep in mind with this effect is that if you do it wrong, it really can look like a Windows Movie Maker transition, which is not what you want in your video. So just keep it subtle if you do choose to use it. And I wouldn't recommend using it on its own as just a transition. I think it's best when it's used the way JR Alley uses it himself, which is just to spice up another transition, make it look smoother or hide the imperfections, the seams behind that transition, or to highlight a sound effect or a certain quick motion that's in front of the camera. And as with any tutorial that I make, my purpose in making this isn't to show you how to go copy JR Alley, but it's just to show you a technique and the concept behind it that you can apply to your own videos in your own way. That being said, I do hope that you've enjoyed this video or learned something from this first tutorial back on the regular upload schedule. And if you did, do feel free to share your support by leaving a like on the video, sharing it with your friends, or even subscribing to my channel. I upload two new filmmaking tutorials every single week. But that's all for now. Keep creating, and I'll see you in the next one. Yeah!